Just one word. Why? <laughs> Carrie is directed by Kimberly Pierce and stars Chloe Grace Moretz and Julianne Moore. This is a reimagining of the Stephen King book, as the opening credits tells us. Officially, on paper, this is not a remake of the original film from the 70s. Now, Carrie is not popular. In fact, she is the very definition of unpopular. People pick on her all the time. There are very few people at her school who actually like her. Most of the people on her side are actually just teachers, and so that's kind of sad. Now, her mother, played by Julianne Moore, is extremely religious, very much so, to the point of almost everything is a sin to this woman. And if you do something wrong, you're gonna get locked in the closet and you gotta pray all night. So basically, Carrie has a horrible life. And when she figures out that she is in fact Jean Grey from X-Men, she decides to use these newfound telekinetic powers for her own benefit. So as I said in the beginning of this review, technically this film is not a remake. It is based off of the Stephen King novel. But I was thinking on the way home, really what is the purpose of this movie? Ask yourself this question. Are we as a society of film goers so desensitized to the fact that remakes are inevitable, that they are everywhere, and there are going to be many more of them, that we have grown to just accept them? Because really, what is the purpose of this remake? Is it to give justice to the original book by Stephen King because the original film did not do that? No, because the original film is actually a classic and well-regarded by many people and still watched today and still holds up today, and it's a good movie that did justice to Stephen King's book. So what really is the purpose of remaking the exact same material and the only thing that is different in it is the initial big bully attack is filmed on a cell phone and spread through social media outlets. Everything else is the exact same. So what really is the purpose of remaking this movie? Honestly, there's no reason to remake Carrie. It was good, really good. The only reason to go back and remake it is to get people who never saw the original, get the modern audiences in there. See, some remakes, you're like, okay, they, they did something different. They improved upon the original, or they made it closer to the source material, and okay, I get why they remade that movie. This movie kind of reminds me of Psycho the 1998 version. Vince Vaughn and Gus Van Sant remade Psycho for absolutely no reason, and it was essentially a shot-for-shot -shot remake, and it's like, why? There, there's no reason to remake Psycho. It's freaking Psycho. There's no reason to remake Carrie, and yet we have Carrie, 2013 version. Okay, rant over. Is this a terrible movie? No, it's not. It has some good elements to it. The revenge scene that we all know is coming because of all the posters and all the images released that we all know it's going to happen, it's still satisfying to watch. There are moments of this movie where you're like, okay, that was pretty cool. There's some okay performances in it. There's some good scenes in it. It's not terribly directed, but it is painfully unnecessary. And as you watch the movie, you know each thing that's gonna happen. Some elements of it were very CGI-esque, like certain Final Destination style deaths that felt out of place. It's not a terribly made film, and after my rant, you're gonna be like, wow, he hates this movie, but I really just hate the fact that this movie exists. The revenge scene, though, was pretty cool and well handled. There are just certain elements to this movie that actually worked, but for the most part, you're watching this movie just thinking, there really is no reason to be here right now. I don't really see the point of this movie. You can go see it if you want to. It's not an awful movie, but I really just think it's a pointless movie. I'm gonna give Carrie a C. C for Carrie. Dumb pun of the night. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.